So as a superbike racer, if you're looking for sponsorship, this is the person you need to speak to. And uh, Kayla's going to give us some tips and tricks on what it takes to get sponsorship. So Kayla, I mean, obviously you get bombarded all the time with all of us saying, please sponsor me. But yes. the thing we want to touch on here is if someone is a superbike racer, enduro racer, or anyone that wants to sort of get some form of sponsorship, what are the key elements in that that you look for when someone's approaching you for sponsorship? So I think um, number one is really important is that you should have a CV, a racing CV put together. Um, obviously showing your history of your race, you know, your racing career, but also something that's a little bit, it shows who you are on the paper. Um, pretty much like a job interview, this is a sponsorship interview. Um, and you know, and what I would say to that is obviously you have to have a reputable racing uh, career. If I say that, I mean, not just some back alley racing, but more like actually particip participating in um, known series, something that we can actually go check online, see where you've been, uh, what's happening in the last couple years. Um, I would also say that having an online presence is very important. You know, brands look for people to sponsor, not only to, um, you know, encourage and build them up and actually help them in their career, but also to build our own brands. Um, and as you mentioned before, Silkline is obviously our race brand. Um, and I think the last one I would say is having something unique. Um, as Fuchs, we sponsor quite a, quite a wide range of racing categories. Uh, we sponsor the Wolfords in the V8 supercars, all the way to Mark Lead and his, his bunch in Cape Town on power boating. So, uh, I mean, the little bit more unique that you are as an offering to our company, I think that that allows us to showcase the applications of our products, you know, through a wide range of racing. Perfect. And and with regards to like your social media and that, the guys are obviously putting up their links and that sort of thing, Instagram, Facebook, the whole lot. Yeah. You guys go and research that stuff as well. So you also want to make sure that your brand aligns with stuff that is off the track. So would you say to someone that's a racer, maybe have a racer page as opposed to a private social media page? Um, I think it depends on who they are. I think, uh, if I can say the older generation, they would have their own page and they would tell you about themselves on their own personal pages. I think the younger generation, like a few of our racers, have their own race pa brand page. Um, and I think that speaks to, obviously, them building their own brand as a, as a rider, looking for not only lubricant sponsorships, but possibly something else. Um, and I think it is... a it depends, like I said, on the person, but it, I think it is good that you separate the two. So uh, we don't want to know what you ate on Sunday. We don't want to know where you raced on Sunday. Yeah. So in closing now, because this is also something that I think needs to hit home with a lot of people looking for sponsorship and that, is that with you guys, it's not a favor. You guys are looking for return on investment. And that sort of return on investment, what are you guys looking to get out of it in terms of when you partner up with someone? It's obviously something that you're looking for as a long term, but what is it that you're looking for to keep um, them on board or you guys working together for seasons in the future because a lot of the times you hear guys have big sponsorship season later the sponsors disappear and it's sort of a hit and run maneuver yeah. for guys to keep the sponsorship going what are you guys looking for for that return on investment um so i think one what's very important is obviously we want a solid uh person or team to sponsor we don't want someone that um you know has hasn't got the ability to race in enough races through the year. We want someone that's committed to their racing, you know. We want them to actually pitch up and ride and race and do whatever they need to do on the day, but also present, represent the brand well enough. Um, I think a lot of riders that are, if for example, sponsored here, not sponsored the next day is... Um, you know, there's a contract between us, you know. I, I give you, you need to give me. And I think, you know, race reports, um, which goes a long way for the brand, but also results, you know. Um, obviously, we, we, don't, we don't all have to sponsor the number one rider. We also sponsor a lot of up-and-coming riders. So we just want to make sure that you are still improving, you're still hungry for the win, you're still trying your best to actually showcase um, on the podium. So I think that's also quite an important thing. Um, yeah, I think that would be a little bit of what I have to say. There we have it. I hope you guys are taking notes. Cheers.